just shown his very first show at On Off London Autumn Winter 2010. How are you feeling? Um, I suppose I've kind of mixed emotions really, you know, I'm a little bit relieved and um, like kind of at the same time, you know, not, sh you know, not, not sure how everyone's going to react towards the show, but I do hope that everyone enjoyed it. I think you've done pretty well. I saw loads of people clapping and being very excited about it all. Um, what time did you get to go to bed? I think it was around about quarter past six this morning and wow. um, we had about like 15 minutes sleep and then we had to get everything ready and then bring it on down. Wow, so a very quick turnaround. Yeah, it has been. Any dramas? Um, <laughs> um, backstage, or oh, yeah, um, something happened backstage, and um, you know we we um, had to um, re-sew you know part of a dress in you know, the last minute, and um, but you know other than that everything was all right. Nobody saw that. You couldn't see anything, <laughs> so that's good. Um, in terms of it being your first collection, uh, you worked with couple of other designs beforehand. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your history? Um, yeah, I suppose um, quite, you know, many moons ago um, you know, I um, became good friends with a Japanese designer called Michiko Koshino mm -hmm. and you know, it's thanks to her that um, you know, I am where I am today. Um, you know, she taught me so much. You know, she was probably you know, one of the best mentors you know, anyone could be. You know, just um, you know, showed me you know, how to have drive and you know, ambition and, um, and you know, I, I really thank her for that. Fantastic. And when did you find out in your head that you wanted to be a fashion designer in the first place? When did that happen? Um, I'm not sure, to be, um, to be honest with you. I, I started, um, I suppose, you know, having a real keen interest in the fashion industry probably about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, you know, actually becoming a designer, well, I kind of, you know, just design clothes that I actually would like to wear myself and, um, you know, that I would like to see, you know, my sisters in as well. So, um, so I suppose it's always been there. Where were the influences from this place? Um, from, th for this season, um, I grew up in the Brecon Beacons and um, both my sisters are professional jockeys and, um, wow. you know, um, my, my family always had horses and we used to go to three-day eventing, oh. equestrian events. And, um, do you ride as well? I do, yeah. And it, it, it kind of all came from that, really. Um, you know, it's something you know, that has a real meaning to me. And um, also, I wanted to make sure that, you know, it was a predominantly British collection. That's why I use a lot of British fabrics and, um, you know, companies um, you know, in my collection. Um, because I think to myself, why go further afield when you can get, you know, the best fabrics here? Absolutely, yeah. When did you move to London then? Um, I moved to London um, in 1998. Um, I studied history, politics and economics at King's College. Wow. And um, th then I went off to um, study human rights, international politics in Germany and French well, and financial accounting in France. Um, I was studying at the Humboldt in Berlin. Oh, so um, yeah, I was there for nine months and, um, and then came back to London then in 2002, I think it was. Do you find that history of studying what you studied has any sort of relevance with what you're doing now? No, I actually didn't. Actually, I, I didn't really enjoy my degree. Um, I enjoyed, you know, partying in the evenings and, um, you know, having all the student loans that I had. But, um, but um, you know, that was the only part of them studying that I enjoyed. And then the turn into fashion came because of what? Like, were you studying that? And then um, I, um, it's a bit embarrassing, but I was, um, I was a model when I was a student, and um, you know, I did um, you know, a Paul Smith campaign in you know, some um, you know, editorials and magazines, and I suppose that was you know, my first you know, taste of fashion. Did you find that Paul Smith, for example, would have an influence on what you're doing now in terms of the, the actions the style? Um, not really. You know, I, I love him. You know, I love Paul's, um, Paul Smith's designs. Um, and, you know, I've actually got some pieces myself, you know, even um, you know, even a jacket I think I've got at home from, you know, about you know, five, six years ago. Um, so, yeah, you know, I do like his stuff, but um, I think my stuff, you know, um, I don't think my stuff is similar to his. You obviously had Amber Levon and Jaquetta Wheeler showing your show, which is fantastic. Yep. How did those relationships come about? Um, I met Jaquetta, actually, um, God, many, many years ago. Um, I think it was back in about 2002 at Julie McDonald's show. Mm -hmm. um, and... I suppose I you know, got to know a bit better, you know, around about a year ago or something like that. And um, we're, um, you know, well, we both supported the Terence Higgins Trust, and um, you know, I hosted um, a dinner for the supper club, and you know, um, Jaquetta came with me, and I actually asked her at the dinner, you know, would you do my show? And she said, um, yeah, of course, I'd love to. And um, you know, I just think that she was absolutely great for the collection. You know, she's um, you know one of my favourite models, um, and um, that's how that came about. And Amber, um, I met also about a year ago. And um, with um, you know a former company, um, 
that um, that I was with, I met her mum, and you know her mum has also you know worked for. Um, well, no, no, not worked for, but you know, supported, um, you know, a charity that I support as well, and um, I suppose the relationship came to like that um, from there. Fantastic, and also obviously they're both very English, <laughs> so they very much fit the collection. Yeah, I think um, you know when it when it comes to the you know the you know even the rest of the models that come to the collection, I think they fitted it so well. It was so well cast. So um, you know I've really got to thank um, you know Nick and Anders um, you know for all that. And are you going to continue making men's and women's work? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'd I'd prefer to have um, you know like kind of you know two small um, smaller capsule collections of both men's and women's, and you know just a, a massive you know collection for men's wear or women's wear just for the sake of it. And actually, one other question: the rest of your team, hair, makeup. How did you guys find each other? Have you been working before? Um, yeah, um, Gary France, um, I met also um, around about seven years ago when I used to work for Michiko Kashino. And, um, you know, I think they have an amazing team. You can really rely on them. Um, and with um, Rachel Woods, um, you know, we met through, um, well, through, 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 through a friend that we have in common. And um, it was it was really through um, through, through our friend that you know we got to know each other and we worked on projects as well and um, you know I can trust her and I know that she's going to do a great job so it's a uh, joy working with them. And um, this is the first time showing it on off? It is. And how are you finding the whole on off experience? Do you know I've really got to thank the team um, you know um, without you know um, you know without on off you know I don't know if this would have been possible um, you know I think it's great that they help um, you know like kind of nurture um, you know new designers you know up at London Fashion Week and give them the opportunity to um, you know showcase on such a great platform. Fantastic. And what are you going to do now? Now, what's next for? Um, next, um, I've just got to get ready for Paris now. I think it's in about ten days or something like that. Um, actually, maybe it's a bit sooner. So um, I should probably go home and pack my suitcase. Oh God, no, no rest for the wicked. And are you already thinking about the next collection? Um, yeah, I've I've already designed um, for next season already, wow. and I'm just you know, starting to source my fabrics now. And um, wow. yeah, I hope it'll be a strong collection. I'll have a lot more time to do it than this one. Oh wow, a very quick turnaround then. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate Thank you so much. Time.